Hey, what up, man? So, uh, <laughs> you see the title. Man, I'm gonna need y'all to stop being so so damn lazy. Look, bro, get your ass out the house and go get your own motherfucker. Man, do y'all understand? Again, man, this goes back to my Wally theory about the whole, you know, thing with this. Man, I know, I know people are lazy, all right? I know this. I have my lazy days. I have my days like, hey, man, I want to work out today. Hey, you know, I'm not going to get up out of the bed. I'm just going to hit the snooze button. I'm going to do all these things, right? Just sit down and relax and rest. Cause life is stressful. I understand that. Every we all do, right? But bruh, y'all are the biggest motherfucking fools letting these strangers handle your food. I say again, you are the biggest mother. It's already bad enough. Listen, man, I have a no send back rule, like at restaurants, right? I don't give a damn how good the restaurant is, how cheap the restaurant is, or whatever the hell it is. You know, I and I'm a dude that I like a lot of flavor in my food, okay. I use I don't want the shit where they just motherfucking get it, put it in the motherfucking in the pot or in the skillet or whatever it is. Throw the little sauce in there. You know the sauce ain't got no salt. Again, especially if it's like a chain restaurant. All right, you got a half a chance if it's like a, a local, you know, small business restaurant or whatnot, what have you. A little soul food joint, little Caribbean joint, whatever it is or, or whatnot. But for the most part, man, like I said, I usually tell motherfuckers exactly how I want my shit prepared. Right, exactly how I want to prepare it prepared. with me extra garlic. If you can make it spicy, make it a little spicy, um, uh, and you know, so on and so forth, depending. So, um, uh, you know, if I get it and the food's not like how I like it, hey man, I just take it. And if it's really, really bad, I'll just take it to go and I'll take it home, throw my little shit in there, whatever, la la la, hook it up and enjoy my meal later. But as far as sitting that shit back to the kitchen, no, sir. <laughs> No, sir. Just like like bad service or whatever the hell. Listen, man, I told y'all, man, I don't even get static at the uh, drive-thru. I go through the drive-thru and me and the person at the, um, uh, you know, at, at the box uh, having some, any type of motherfucking, you know, <laughs> discrepancy. <laughs> I see that tone change. Sir, I said, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Pull right on off. <laughs> Pull right on off. And go on my way to either the next restaurant of the same chain or just take it to the house and switch it up. Do whatever I do, man. Because listen, bro, this is two things I can guarantee. And for my, I think my two weeks that I worked at McDonald's, this is what I can tell you about every fast food restaurant, bro. All right, especially if it's in the hood, if it's black folks working there. There's always some dude that's either fresh out of jail trying to get back on his feet or a dude that's, you know, a little not all the way there. All right, he 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 his IQ scale is not very high. And it's the little ghetto ass, you know, fast, you know, semi-cute, the cute chick that he won't. But he but he hey, he like the motherfucking fox in the three I mean, the wolf and the three little pigs um uh, cartoons. <sighs> Slobbering every time he see her. Hey Keisha, hey Tanisha, <laughs> hey Dunquita, whatever her name may be. He he lets it be known. He wants that. He got to have it. I like you, and I want you. That's how it is. And again, that nigga there will do anything, anything she tell him to do, all right? So if she happened to be on the register, if she happened to be on motherfucking drive through and you get a motherfucking attitude with her, and she tell motherfucking buddy, hey, you got somebody with an attitude, he said, don't worry about nothing. Say less. Dick in a sandwich. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Man, dick in a sandwich. You know, you don't want that. So again, man, with my food, man, I I, I I have the utmost regards and respect. Hey, you have the power. You have no power here. I understand that. I have no absolutely no power in any type of motherfucking restaurant or vicinity where I gotta get my food from somebody else, okay? So, increasing the amount of hands and putting another person in, in the mix, of course, like, for one, this person is Uber Eats and DoorDash and all this stuff and whatnot, what have you. And again, man, do your thing. That's your hustle or whatever. That's where you're getting a little money. I'm not doing that. Hey, hey man, it's better that than you breaking the law, right? 
But this is what I'm telling you. Me and my son today, you know, we running around and whatnot. And Sunday is usually be like my little prep day. But um, uh, it's it's Black Friday weekend. Everybody's everywhere. I don't feel like cooking. So in the place we really went to is just like it's called um the grilled cheese bistro, bro. They got like the best fries ever. But the line was literally, bro, like around the corner. So I said, fuck, we'll just go ahead and go to Five Guys, right? So we go to Five Guys and um, uh, order all the stuff or whatever, whatever, bro. And when I tell you, bro, every person, every person that was picking up a DoorDash was shifty at best. I was like, man, if this nigga came to my door with my food and I seen him, I seen him. I'd be like, hey, dog, um, uh, hey, man. Uh, you can go on, go on ahead, keep that man. I'm gonna have to cancel that order, and I'm gonna get me like somebody else, brother. Cause um, uh, listen, man. <laughs> for one, I haven't seen one skinny DoorDash. I didn't see one skinny DoorDash people. Most of the people I see picking up DoorDash, bro, are not the people that that the people that look like, hey man, hey man, this this, this bag kind of light. This bag kind of light, man. I ordered the motherfucking. You know, so I fry and and, and 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 have the box gone. That's what I'm. I, that's how most of these people look. Man, I saw a nigga today that had a motherfucker the pot belly, like he nine months pregnant. And then the second dude, not only did he have the the pot belly, y'all, he had a do rag on with the with the tail out. Do rag on with the flap out with the flap the flap nigga. He had the flap out. So I'm like, nigga, I went man. Nigga. And this is who y'all who y'all fools are letting handle your food? You trusting this man with your food? A nigga that's out in the public, y'all, with a pot belly and a flap out on his do rag. Man, y'all don't care about y'all health. Y'all don't care about no motherfucking E. coli. Y'all don't care about no salmonella. Y'all don't care about no 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 beer flu. Y'all don't care about none of that shit, man. Y'all letting these motherfucking strange ass characters handle your food for the sake of what? Nigga, get your ass out the house and go pick that goddamn food up. What's wrong with y'all? Is this lazy? Niggas look like they live out the motherfucking swamp meat and pawn shop, bruh. Y'all letting these dudes and trusting these dudes to bring your food? You fuck around this motherfucker and get... Uh, damn, I, what's this white powdery substance? <laughs> I, these aren't supposed to be Parmesan fries. Nigga motherfucker sacking up while he motherfucker in between. <laughs> while he, <laughs> what are we doing, man? Listen, man. Bruh, stop being lazy, people. Bruh, this is how you, 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 you fall further and further a slave to the system, bruh. And just like, man... It's it's just sad, but man, I said, bro, bro, don't believe me. As I tell you all the time, don't believe me. Go to whatever your local place is, you know. Now, of course, not like a McDonald's or something like that. But I think McDonald's, most of these places do it. DoorDash, whatever, bro. And look at all these people that's doing DoorDash, man. The people that's picking up the food and stuff like that, man. These characters are shifty as hell, bro. Especially if you're in like a black city, like or with, with, with <laughs> man. Stop. And stop, man. Stop. All right. Y'all y'all wondering y'all wondering why um uh you know people getting fatter and sicker and all this shit. Mama was talking about this 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 something for the, from the C V. Nigga, this from goddamn um uh <laughs> motherfucking HPV. <laughs> Yo, man, I don't I don't trust but I'ma want bruh the two dudes I saw, bruh, I'm gonna want them dudes touching my bag of my food, man. You know like how you in the restaurant, you came to line of people or some shit. You like, hey man, you know, hand me that. Like, no, nah, nigga, not you. No, not you, brother. No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'll wait. I'll reach out there, and get it myself. Man, I'm telling you, man. man Y'all actually trust this dude. And like I said, it's not more than one person. It's, it's, it's everybody's food. You know what I mean? I, I just don't get it. But please stop being lazy today, man. All right, bro. Take that time out your day or whatever the hell it is, bro. If you can't go get your own food, man, bro, just don't order it. Make a hot dog, nigga. Make a spam sandwich. Something. Man, y'all playing with your life. 
man. Y'all worried about this vaccine? Hell, they gonna put the vaccine in your food, then you don't even know it because you got somebody else that's this, you know. Y'all trust? Y'all put adding a whole third party into you getting your food, bro? Y'all crazy as hell, man. You know the stories I done heard and shit I done seen for myself with um uh in regards to like food service, man. People tell you anybody that's ever worked in food for service will tell you, bro, it's just scary, man. It's scary. It's scary enough just the you know the crazy shit you can see on on a good day. Not to mention that the motherfucker pissed off and mad or whatever, what have you. But either way, man, don't be a fool and let these motherfucking strangers handle your food, man. That's that on that one. I catch you on the next one.